Hello and welcome back. In this lecture, we will be learning about planning and managing Microsoft Azure cost so that we can minimize. So minimizing our cost is Azure continuous process. If you can see here three pillars of what we follow starting from the accountability and optimizing and visibility. So in every key pillar, we would be performing some actions follow a complete life cycle of Azure resources. That way you would be minimizing your total cost that is uh, you're going to paying for Microsoft Azure. As our users changes, as more users on our site, uh, as people use our sites and applications in a different ways, our users is going to start uh, to vary over time. And over time, we need to um, kind of uh, constantly re-evaluate to see if there is an any opportunity to minimize our cost. This is a continuous process that we should be engaged in constantly and as we can see within this image. We did talk in the previous lectures uh, wherever we can save the cost for example by using the cost management optimization um, we can use the Azure Advisor or Dave Test Labs uh, where you get the, some kind of you know free credits uh, you can use them also um, innovative programs like uh, licensing mobility for using the hybrid configurations where if you bought already licenses you can re reuse them and also uh, for your teams you can provide the Visual Studio subscription if they have and we would be you know, giving them uh, close to $150 for their testing of any kind of development and test kind of you know workloads instead of you build them. Similarly uh, you also have the discounting options uh, which we talked in the previous lectures uh, where we compared with the pay as you go model and as your um, RIs or reserve instances where we can save close to 70 to 80 percentage of the investment and also we covered uh, the differences between the costing uh, when compared with the Amazon AWS services versus Azure. So the cost optimization starts from the subscription. Uh, what kind of you know, subscription we would be taking because the subscriptions comes uh, comes from the offer details. Either you want to go for the pay as you go model or free trial or any of the support plans you want to include. If you look at the complete cost optimization, you need to you know understand about three different teams that are involved in this um, methodology. The first one would be the finance team who's going to approve the budgets and the uh, forecast of uh, spendings and also the managers who are responsible for organizations that are go for the cloud spendings and also the app teams that are nothing but your engineers uh, managing the cloud resources databases and and they develop and they put all your workloads in the cloud and so the these uh, teams are key responsible in outlining your organizations to uh, successfully managing the cost when it comes to the planning you need to understand what kind of a you know, business problem we are going to solve by hosting that specific application maybe are we going to address this by infrastructure as a service or platform as a service or we use as the a direct service so we need that visibility when it comes to the visibility they will know that you know when if it is a very well structured the cost management really helps uh, to inform them uh, for the people you know how much it's gonna cost for them and also the people who are responsible for the accountability f uh, for this spendings uh, within their teams and optimization comes into the picture when we want to reduce our spendings uh, to co or to use the only most optimized uh, purchasing mechanisms or licensing optimizations or deployment uh, changes any of them coming back to the planning with the cost in mind uh, we need to think about either as your office that's the best meets your needs or the resources you need to you know plan to use how much they might cost so once you plan these things you would be you know, onboarding with an options how long you're gonna use this as your services I'm going to test it or do I plan to build long-term infrastructure and then um, you know you would come into the picture for 
paying Microsoft as your cost either you want to go for free or pay as you go model or with the enterprise agreement so when it comes to the enterprise agreement it's going to be upfront whereas the pay as you go model there's no commitment so uh, no minimum or no commitment so you can cancel any time and you may have to pay it but when you go for the reserved instances you would be you know, saving the cost with a combination of hybrid close to 72 IT plus uh, percentage when it compared with the pay as you go model so you need to think about that you need to you know, uh, use the as you cal price calculator uh, and this pricing calculator will tell you the uh, at least the full cost of your uh, spending limit on that specific resources if you have very well planned your uh, uh, your deployment or your uh, business problem how that you wanted to you know solve and if you are identified that you would be able to get some kind of you know calculating uh, prices and then you can also use if uh, if you want to migrating um, any of the VMs or any of the uh, on-premises services you can you know use the Azure migration services and get the costing information when it comes to analyzing your uh, and managing your cost the billing uh, comes into the picture so the better uh, would be you need to you know tag properly your Azure resources so that it would be you know, grouped when it comes to billing data so that you know that what uh, resources are uh, grouped and where the cost is coming up so that's what it, it talks about it and also you need to analyze the current month uh, bill and are, are you going to you know save somewhere or, or really are you going to use some of the resources and you can you know um, check on that and if you want to you know consider for charging back for your internals you can do that based on your organization process and also the exporting the bill on schedule and sync up uh, with some kind of you know uh, information and you can create your own budget budgets and analyze your bills and also you can cut out the waste if any of the VMs are not using or maybe you scale for a higher level but the VM does not require uh, that kind of you know higher level uh, configuration then you would be you know, using the Azure advisor to get that kind of you know information if you can you know go back and check about this tutorial uh, which talks about uh, for example here um, uh, synth uh, driver one is a VM which is costing close to this much and you can you know actually potentially save uh, if you can you know so, uh, size resize your virtual machine or if you can you know shut down it because it's not used and uh, it actually gives you the complete advisory information as a recommendation here you can resize to D2 as V3 from maybe a different SKU altogether so if you can see here uh, it's uh, configured as a V3 uh, with three with the D8 D8 S series and you can you know configure uh, to a standard D2 V3 so that you can actually save the cost so you see here uh, you're gonna you know saving the cost here from the standard D8 configuration to uh, D2 yes configuration so you will be saving a lot when it compared so these kind of you know recommendations would automatically comes from the cost management best practices and the Microsoft um, advisory uh, this is the advisory recommendation which we talked about here and also you can size the properly VMs uh, such information can be you can easily find from the uh, Azure advisory or you might have to you know uh, calculate the proper uh, load on that workloads and uh, use the auto scaling options if really needed and if there is a possibility go for the Azure reservations so that you would be you know, saving at least the 72 percentage to 80 plus percentage and also use the hybrid benefits that would save at least 40 to 55 percentage of uh, licensing cost on your uh, Microsoft Azure spendings if you're interested in learning more about minimizing your Azure cost, I would uh, really encourage you to you know check out this blog post and this uh, specific uh, resources which I'm actually attaching uh, within this lecture and go through with them. And this is one of the good uh, blog posts which talks about uh, at the high level of every possible information. I hope this is useful for you. Thank you for watching this.